What up my bitches and my homies, as you can see, I promised you guys to do that one video, at least today, of my new Apple uh, re review that I haven't been doing like in so long, and I do apologize about that, computer issues, not much you can do. Anyway, let's go into the person that we're actually going to be reviewing today, and it's going to be Rock Solid, another good friend of mine, and he's actually in the drawing. There might not be an intro, I'm not 100% sure, again, new computer, different story. Let's start off again, now, we start off with presentation, if you look at his channel, it's very well play, um, put together. As you can see, it looks like he didn't do this um, himself. If you can see, it says background made. I'm not sure who that is. I'm pretty sure he'll tell me. Um, but he does have, he does give you information like to follow him on Twitter, on Facebook, Etika, whatever you want, you want to say. But it is a very nice layout. Um, his layout is actually set up very, very well. He explains a little bit about himself, what he does, his current prom project at the current time, his finished project. He even gives you extra information on his Facebook page, his backup account, his blog. He even gives you um, channel guidelines to for you not to, you know, bug him on certain items and certain things. Even giving you, telling you how his subscriptions work and how his shoutouts work as well, which is very good because I get these kind of questions all the time, like, oh, can you sub to me, and etc. So. I don't expect him to do anything, and, and and that's actually very well played, and that's why I think I gave him a 4 out of 5. Now, we can hit into video quality. Uh, video quality, I gave him a 7 out of 10. Um, for the most part, most of his videos are very well, they have good um, quality, they're very good. Uh, they used to be choppy again, I want to focus on the current projects he has now. There is a few lag issues on some of his parts on Conquer, some on his Sly, and even some on banjo Tui. Um, so that is a problem in its own in its own accord. Um, we'll go ahead and play a video so I can show you exactly what I mean. Now his let's put the volume down a little bit. I don't want to be hearing too much. As you can see, the intro starts off very well. Again, I think this was made by someone else, not entirely by him. So we have to take into account that he is getting someone else to do his in intros, and I guess you know it works out. But now, let's head into the actual video. If you see, there is a black border across the whole actual video. Hold on, let me stop. I don't want to stop him. Oh, snap. Wrong button. Uh, okay. Now, uh, if you look at the whole thing, there is a black border around the whole video. And the way we work now, and the way YouTube set it up, you should be able to get rid of that black border. Or should do something in your editing and your rendering to... Uh, fix that issue because he doesn't have that issue in other um, videos in his, in his banjo Tui as I'll go ahead and show let's go into something as you can see it's full screen alright and that's the reason why I gave you a 7 out of 10 now if you go into audio quality uh, for the most part his audio is very very well put um, there are occasions that his audio will be too high or it will be too low and he has to adjust that and for someone who's so well experienced and has been here long enough, you would assume that he would have that issue already taken care of, and that shouldn't be an issue. And that's why I hit him a little harder in that aspect because, again, he is, he's been here for a while. He has over a thousand subs. That's something that should not be an issue when it comes to editing. And you should probably make sure your video is coming out correct and your audio and your settings are all right before posting up a video. Um, there are some instances where the video, uh, his mic seems too close to his mouth, um, or you know it's too loud or it's too soft. Again, it's it's something very that you need to be very well well, well aware. I think he had each time he does it, he announces, "Oh, you know, it's too loud. Uh, you should probably fix it before actually sending out a video." Alrighty, uh, now for consistency. Um, just recent, his consistency it varies from time to time. Even throughout summer, he was he had a schedule. He would not pick up to it. He would stay to it. He'll go on a hiatus. We all go on hiatuses for school reasons, vacations, etc. So there's not really any reason to really deduct points from that. But still, again, consistency is a key to making your subscribers happy. So I gave him a three out of five for that. 
uh, for personality reasons, I gave you a 6 out of 10, man. Uh, I have noticed, um, after watching a few of your videos, you seem a little bit more lively when it comes to, I don't know, talking to your... When you have guests in your videos, you seem more lively, more outgoing, more energetic, and for some reason, you lose some of that drive when you do videos by yourself, which is kind of a letdown and there is some instances where in the videos you will be very upbeat, very you know, happy, jolly, and keeping us entertained, but for the most part you tend to be a lot more excited, more happier when you are with someone else via friend, me, or etc., whoever is with you, ghost cast commentators, they bring out the best of you, and that's an additional, that's another reason why you, in your commentary I gave you 7 out of 10, yes, you talk about, you keep the conversation going, but you do have uh, moments where you just pause, and you don't really know what to say, and it becomes very bland and stale, um, you need to work on that a little bit more, maybe get some, um, get some information about the, uh, the game itself, uh, find something in your life, something interesting to talk about instead of maybe that would probably help out your, you know, your pausing and your awkward moments of like, oh, what should I say now? And there's nothing really to say. So you should probably not pre-plan it, but at least have some sort of topics to talk about to remind you or to keep you going to help you out if you get stuck somewhere. Now, your final score for that, it would be a 66%. I did go a little hard because I think a lot of people criticize me for how harsh and how you know, critical I am with these, but you know what, it's my review, I need to stick to my guns, and I need to say it how it is, so a 6 to 6 man, not, I, I understand a lot of people expect more higher scores, but when you go into quality, you go into very, I have to critique it the way I see it, um, you're a good friend, but that's about it, this has been Audio Cheesy 1, 2, 3, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm sorry for not being here so long, and I will try to make more but for now, I believe that is it. Final score is 66, Mixer Rock Solid. Thank you again for reviewing me, or for me, for me to let me review you, sorry. Uh, thank you, and have a nice day.